Hello everybody, we're alive, you're alive. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, there are so many factors going on in me recording today. First of all, sorry if you hear my kids, they are playing upstairs. I told Ruby to keep Ivy entertained and that only results in like fighting and tears. <laughs> and so if you hear them, I'm sorry. I literally have not had an afternoon or morning without my children in about a month, unless I was like vomiting. Our plans for today have just gotten like completely off the rails. Uh, and we're actually in some pretty dangerous situations right now. Um, hence why I have all my kids with me because I am terrified for all of our safety at this point. But I will get into that a little bit later. In today's video, we are going to be taking down all of our Christmas decorations and really just trying to bring this home into a clean slate situation. Right now we're in the place where I've gotten the house pretty much picked up and we're about to start into some deep cleaning. But as you guys will see, there have been so many roadblocks along the way and can't wait to share them with you. So. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give you a little before shot, looking at what our house has looked like over the last few weeks with all of this sickness and whatnot. It has just gotten out of hand. And so we really need to get this place put back together, back to normal, take down all of this Christmas decorations. Here you guys can see that I have my sweet quilts. I just love seeing these all stacked together, but it is time to take these and get them out of here. Hey, what are we doing today? Um, we are taking down our Christmas decorations. And why aren't you in school right now? Well, because it's a snow day. I know it doesn't really look like it's snow. And it probably shouldn't be a snow day, but it is. It's starting, but it looks like we're supposed to have a winter storm today. So it's a perfect day to take down all of our Christmas decorations. Uh -huh. All right, first of all, I wanna say thank God for the month long break that I took in between filming these videos. You guys, we were so sick as a family, literally all of us. Uh, it started out with me being super nauseous and exhausted from my pregnancy, like literally really struggling to even function. Um, and then our entire little girl family came down with like some kind of an RSV where they were coughing with horrible high fevers. I wound up catching it um, and I came down with acute bronchitis and the coughing was so bad that I would, I, I pulled a muscle. I thought that I got a hernia, but I pulled a muscle in my like lower abdomen and then also, I don't know if this is true, but I feel like I bruised my ribs from coughing so hard. It was so painful, not just in my throat, but it was so painful all over my whole body to be coughing as hard as I was. After that, our whole family again got high fevers. Rosie got pink eye and was sent home from school. It was just an absolute mess. And then we came down with a stomach bug as well. And I was so sad. I actually missed Christmas morning, our girls opening presents because I was throwing up uncontrollably and I literally sat in bed and cried. I don't know if you saw my mom whenever she was trying to put down the tree. The branches are like, they're sticking up, and then it went, um, <laughs> and then it was like, like Happy New Year! Can you get it? after I had my horrible stomach bug that left me so that I was unable to eat for like days, our entire family on Josh's side came and stayed with us in our home. In the meantime, our girls had awful fevers. They broke out in horrible rashes. And we found out that they actually had hand, foot, and mouth disease. Not great. And then now Josh has a fever and another really bad cold. So unfortunately, there was a lot of days
days spent on the couch watching TV and we weren't able to spend the holidays like I really wish that we could have. So all of that to say that I was so excited to be able to come back to break out of this like exhausting time of sickness where I was so sick and trying to take care of other kids that were sick and I was just really excited to come back and start doing YouTube. Um, but in the middle of making this video, our plans actually drastically changed. Um, we've had two snowstorms and a deep freeze, and it's just been really scary around here. So I will get into that in a little bit. But as you guys can see, the snow is starting to come down here and I caught, I captured some pictures before things really started to get scary, but I was glad to at least be able to get all of this Christmas decorations down before the really crazy stuff started happening. And finally, I'm going to take everything down in our kitchen as well. So something that I do that really seems to help in the decorating and the putting away is that I organize all of my bins by room. So all of my stuff in the kitchen goes into the kitchen bin. All of my stuff in the living room goes into the living room bin. I'm laughing because I know that you guys have probably seen like all of this content a month ago, but because I'm so late coming back into this, I <laughs> am doing this now. Keep in mind also that I did this like two weeks before this video was uploaded. But honestly, you might think that I was keeping up the Christmas decorations because I was thinking it was so nostalgic and sparkly. And yes, that's kind of true, but mostly we were just too sick to take it down. Good morning. It is actually the following day. Yesterday it took me all day long to take down all of our Christmas decorations. It took me a couple weeks to get it all up. And so I'm actually kind of happy that it only took me one day to get it all down i will say that not having to make any decisions just throwing things into the bins was way easier than actually putting things up so today i'm starting in rosie's room i still have her little christmas stuff up and i wanted to show you guys this little pillow that she worked on you guys this is rosie's first embroidery project that she ever did and then she also decided to make it into a little pillow. We bought some back material for it, some little cotton. And I just thought that for a seven-year-old, she did such an amazing job. If you guys are interested in these little patterns, I'll link them below, I guess. Anyway, I thought that I was gonna have today to myself to get a bunch of this cleaning done, but we actually had another snow day today it was like a crazy winter storm over the night and i'll show you guys a little bit of what it looks like outside but um i'm just going to take today to just kind of continue to clear out everything i think i'm going to change our bedding just make it nice and white and fresh and this is going to sound kind of weird but i actually want our house to just look i don't want it to necessarily look like super decorated right now I love this season in January where things just look extremely clean and minimal and pulled back. I think that with the holidays, things can tend to feel kind of cluttered and I'm really just looking to have it feel super fresh in here. And so for the rest of today's video, I'm going to go ahead and get things like really cleared out and cleaned up. Not only was there Christmas stuff everywhere, but it was also like a pit and so I'm also going to get myself ready because, listen, it's 2024 and I'm trying to be better about getting myself ready and not just looking like this all day, every single day. I'm planning on putting some makeup on before I start changing up my bedding and yeah, just to kind of have like a fresher feel. So not that I necessarily need it. The girls are just like watching movies with Josh. He's got a fever. He's feeling really junky today. So not that I don't love their help, but I'm going to let them relax and have kind of like a fun little snow day, movie day. And I'm just going to get some done work around them, hopefully, and just pray that they don't make a mess while I'm trying to clean up. 
All right, you guys, and I am trying to be better about getting ready in the morning. It is not natural for me. I really struggle to see the point in doing this, but I know that it is a good habit to do. And so this is one of the habits that I am trying to instill in 2024, just being better about it, but it has been really hard with how sick that we've been. to take out the trash and get our kitchen a little bit picked up you guys this is one of the hardest things to film just because it gets so messy so fast Hi. <laughs> Take these all off and get these washed. Yuck. So here you can see me taking down these cushions into our basement to put them into our laundry. I got these cushions from Ikea a while back and it stinks because I love our like thatch bottom chairs but y'all with our little kids we need these cushions and so they get disgusting and I have to wash them regularly. I also hung up my original curtains that I made earlier this year, but they were super wrinkly. And so instead of trying to get them out and get out the iron, I'm just using a little steamer to get some of the wrinkles out of these. I was gonna see if they would just kind of naturally fall out, but they did not. So I think that this is gonna look a lot better. And then also our hydrangeas. I was so torn about taking these down just because I feel like they look so beautiful. But y'all, these have been up since, I don't know, maybe September or so. And as pretty as they are, they make such a mess. And so I really was thinking about our home and what I want it to look like in this January season. And I think that what I'm thinking is that I just want things to be as pulled back as possible. So I'm gonna try to get rid of actually a lot of like foliage that we have going on in our house. I'm actually getting rid of even some of like the faux plants that we have. I think I'm really just trying to bring it back to super simple something about me right now is just craving simplicity and I, I actually was feeling this even before I decorated for Christmas and I think I mentioned that in my videos before as well but I I don't know I'm just trying to get rid of the fuss y'all and next thing you know I'm just gonna start throwing out everything in our house and as you guys can see here I actually painted our stained glass windows. These are the ones above our bed. The orange was just really, it was driving me crazy. I hated it. And so I just did a diluted acrylic paint and I just tried to paint over it as evenly as possible. Um, and I just thought I would show you guys the process. This is how it turned out. I wound up actually doing two coats on it. So it's a little bit darker here at the end, but y'all might think that this is like a cardinal sin, but I actually enjoy it so much more now that it's not just that bright and obnoxious orange. It was really bothering me for so long. So I did this a little while ago. It was not recent. That footage that you just saw is probably from at least a month ago, but I thought I would include it in here so that you guys could see it in the background of when I'm making my bed. So we have this beautiful Christmas bedding that we have really enjoyed for the last few months. It has just felt rich and awesome, but now it is time for 
something fresh and new. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring our white linen duvet cover and sheets and everything back. I'm just gonna do all white. Um, just because I'm, I like I said, I just wanna strip everything back to super, super simple. I love that quote by Anne of Green Gables, where she says, isn't it nice to think that tomorrow is a new day with no mistakes in it yet? That's how I'm trying to think of this year, even though we are currently still trying to get over all of the sickness from last year. I am trying to at least create a clean and fresh environment so that when we are finally healthy enough to enjoy it, that we can really thrive in our home. I just want it to function really well. I'm gonna be focusing on habits and um, doing some decluttering over these next few weeks, really trying to clean this place out. Um, I know you guys really love that type of content and so I am excited to bring it to you as well. So it is officially lunchtime. I don't know how it is that all I've been doing is cleaning today, yet somehow my house is still a pit. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna keep on trucking. Thankfully, it's good to know a lot of these things are done, just like these pads are back on the chairs, nice and clean. All of our bedding is clean. It just, it feels nice to know that those things, but ugh, it stinks to look around and still just see junk everywhere. So got a lot of work ahead of me still. Okay, y'all, so we're back in the bedroom. And I have to tell you that this video got completely hijacked by the dangerous situation that we're in. I was planning on getting as much of the cleaning done as I could with the kids. And then when they finally all left, I was gonna get the deep cleaning done. Well, we have been getting snow day after snow day with this crazy weather. So actually we had the biggest snowstorm of my entire life that I've ever seen. And I've lived in the Omaha area for, other than living in Dallas for about three years, I have lived in Omaha my whole life. I've never seen anything nearly like this. We have, I'll show you guys a little bit of videos of what's going on, but we have six, seven foot drifts of snow that have like literally packed us inside of our house for a while. Like we can't even open most of the doors to the outside of our house. And not only that, but it is dangerously cold. Like right now, outside, you can see that we've got all of the windows in our house. We're trying to close all of the curtains to make sure that we're trying to conserve as much heat as possible. Right now, not kidding, it is negative 20 degrees outside. Today's supposed to be a low of negative 27, and currently with the wind chill, it's negative 41, but it's supposed to get down to negative 50 today. So this is already not a great situation, um, but also our furnace keeps going out. So yesterday our furnace went out and Josh went downstairs. He was on the phone with his brother-in-law and everything trying to figure it out. Um, we could not figure it out. And in the meantime, our house was getting colder and colder and colder. We wound up just like huddling into the living room and putting on little movies and sitting next to space heaters. And our sweet neighbor wound up coming over. His wife brought us homemade chicken noodle soup and homemade pumpkin bread. And y'all, I cried. I cried because I was so scared and I was so blessed by the kindness of our neighbors. Um, anyway, I was getting really scared just because like literally the snow was so high that you could see it in our kitchen window. There was even snow piled up on the inside of our enclosed porches because it was like blowing through the cracks. The winds have been insane and the temperatures are just so dangerous. And so our neighbor wound up coming over. He couldn't figure it out. And finally, we wound up having to call out an emergency tech to help us. Um, but also in the meantime, my car has stopped working. So I think that the battery has gotten so cold that we can't even jump it at this point. Anyway, all that to say is that we've had a really hard month. And um, if you would just pray for our family, 
I would really appreciate it. Y'all, I love making content and I'm not trying to sit here and like feel sorry for myself, but it's just been really hard, you know? So anyway, I am trying to distract myself from the dangerous weather outside. And I think I've just decided that there's not gonna be a time that my kids aren't here. Uh, when I can actually get this house clean. In the meantime, our our girls have just been making a mess out of this place. I feel like I've been working myself to the bone around the clock trying to make food, clean up food. They've been like super creative, so they've been pulling out stuff and making forts, and it's just like crayon peels and like, you know, there's just stuff everywhere all the time and so i'm working really hard i really want to make this an inspiring video for you guys but y'all know y'all know who, whoever has ever had a seven five and two year old you know that everything it's like literally like shoveling in a snowstorm as much as you work on it uh they destroy it so i'm going to try to finish this video out strong and try to get this place as clean as possible so that i can give you guys a a decent after but you know what <laughs> if I don't that's okay too and we will get there you guys know that the cleaning never ends in our home and so maybe I'll just have to show you a better after in a different video or something sometime you know once our girls go back to school and once it is not so chaotic and dangerous in this house so Anyway, pray for us. We probably will be trapped in here for at least another two, three days. Um, the weather is just so, so dangerous. It's supposed to be negative 20 for the next few days. And so I am just holding up inside and praying that we stay safe. So anyway, let's get going and yeah, we'll move on with the video. All right, everybody. Well, our windows desperately needed to be cleaned. I honestly can't even remember the last time I did this because usually we have all these plants in front of our window, but I actually kind of liked it without the plants. And so we're leaving it bare for now. But we actually had a bird that got into our house last week and this daggone bird pooped all over like every window in our house. The girls loved it. They thought it was like the cutest thing ever and I could not wait to get it out. Basically, we had to just leave our front door open and try to guide this little bird out, but it was absolutely an adventure that I don't want to do again. <laughs> But I will say that I'm a little bit embarrassed by how quickly I was able to do these cleaning tasks. Things like washing the windows, it really didn't take very long at all. And it's a little bit embarrassing about how infrequently I do it. So I was excited to break out these new cleaning products that I had and really give the house a good scrub. So you'll see here that I'm just getting a little vacuum out and getting you guys ready for a little before and after of what our home looks like. So here you go.
everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. You guys, this was a roller coaster of a video to even film. Like, it was such madness. So much kids, so much mess, uh, so much Christmas, you know, to take down. But I'm so happy that our house is finally in the place that it is. I am so blessed by y'all, and I'm so happy to be back from my month long break. I wish that it had been restful but it wasn't but man i am so grateful that i was not having to worry about filming during that time there was just so much illness and i could hardly even function and so i was grateful to be able to not have the pressure of like oh i've got to film so thank you guys for coming back for being with me i know that this was a long video but y'all are my people and you stick with me and i really really appreciate you okay next week i am going to be filming a video on like habits um i have started in two some new habits this year since I've been feeling a little bit better, bit better and it has not been easy but I want to be better this year and so I'm excited to share that with you and I look forward to seeing you then bye guys see you later